Hello, everybody. This is Zigzag Zog recording from Western Kentucky. I want to welcome you all back to episode seven of XCOM Enemy Within featuring the Long War mod. I've gone ahead and chosen the team I'm going to take out on this mission. Um, it, may it may not be, uh, at first glance, the ideal um, group of soldiers to bring out on a settlement style mission but it's what I'm going with. I have three rookies on this mission. If we go back, recall that we are, well, here we go, we're looking at a light mission in the first month, so I think I'm safe, I hope, bringing along three more rookies. As I said, my goal in the first month is to get up to 32 troops towards on the promotion track, and with this in mind, I think this will bring our total to approximately 30 or 31, so I'm real close to hitting the goal that I set for myself in the first month. Taking a look, we have Trevor back as a Rocketeer. He took his promotion there. Uh, Chelsea, we're bringing along because I have no medics on the promotion track, and even though it's not ideal, it's early enough where I think we can get by with a medic helping us out, providing some support. The three rookies, we have Margaret Thatcher along, Arthur, Ash, and Fred. We brought Fred back from the last mission because he just missed getting promoted, so we're going to see if we can't get him promoted on this mission. And Boris Becker has been promoted to an infantryman, and we're going to try to get him some more experience. So let's launch into the mission and see the exact kind of map we're going to be dealing with here. Oh, it's, it, I think it was the map I got my very first ever terror mission on. The army base or whatever it is with tank storage and whatnot. So we'll see how this runs as a regular light engagement mission. And we should still just be facing mostly uh, sectoids in this first month. So let's let's jump on in here and find out for sure. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. So there's the opening entering into the base that we need to get around to breach because there's no way around these walls unless I were to waste an HE grenade. I have three HE grenades, three flashbangs. That's hopefully going to be enough to hold us in. Um, let's bring our rocketeer up here so he can aye, aye, Commander. steady his weapon because accuracy early on in the rocket progression is not good. I did um, equip a lighter SMG just to help with mobility because when you load on those two rockets it kills the mobility for the Rocketeer so he won't be heavy hitter if he's joining us with conventional weapons uh, but I wanted to try and have him better able to keep up with the group with a little more mobility and early on that shouldn't be a big deal. Bring Boris Becker up also. We'll just dash a few rookies over this way. It should be far enough back. We aren't going to activate anything. I think I'm just going to dash them over just to get in position to better advance next turn. And Chelsea will bring you up also here. As I said, we're just going to steady weapon on the Rocketeer just in case something presents itself after the first turn, and we'll just overwatch with Mr. Boris Becker. Didn't expect on a light mission. This is a pretty large map. You can hear those sectoids, but we don't get a sound clue till after this next move, so let's see if we can't move forward with some rookies and see what we see. Okay. Time to keep this sucker and Margaret Thatcher uncovered the first 
couple of sectoids and she is immediately flanked in her position not a good deal but there that's much much flankable position so we'll have to see how I can get my people into position Margaret Thatcher we're gonna rush you up to full cover you won't have a shot, but you're going to be in much better cover up here. We have an HE grenade with Arthur Ashe. I wonder if he'll have range if I move him up to try to destroy some cover over here. Yeah, he should, because he can just about do it now as it is. Early first month. HE grenades aren't guaranteed to blow away cover, but these wooden crates usually are pretty dependable to have them destructed with an HE grenade. So we're going to position Arthur Ashe over here to heave a grenade. He'll just pretend it's a tennis ball and see if we can't blow away this guy's coverage. Throwing grenade. Mission accomplished. We also have more entrance into the battlefield with the wall getting blown away. So he definitely made the cover destruction work with that AT grenade. Oh, yeah. It also means I can get a rookie shot for Fred. Actually, you already got your promotion just by appearing on this mission. But I'm going to see if we can get you a, I'm on it, Commander. a kill just to get the things flowing here. What is it? 64%. And Fred finishes off the first sectoid for us. That leaves just one floating around back here behind the tank. And we'll see if we can't get everybody else in position to do some damage next turn. Um, Trevor, I think we'll position you over here behind these boxes good no activation we're just gonna steady your weapon and get ready Chelsea we're gonna bring you up behind the sandbags here you'll be able to provide some overwatch coverage and let's see if there's a way not an ideal way but we're gonna bring Boris Becker up here and since that, since that position doesn't have to worry about be, being flanked anymore, and we'll just stick him on overwatch also. Oh, an alien's not running away. He moved forward. He may have a shot on somebody over here, and he suppresses, of all things. Well, we'll take that over a shot any day. Let's see. Margaret Thatcher. You're going to have a shot. It would be a shot on a half cover over here, or we can utilize. Does anyone have a grenade left? left? Fred, did we give you a grenade? Should we do the old cover destruction thing and try to get our rookies involved and see if we can on my way. get a nice little kill for Margaret Thatcher available? Let's blow away this cover in the front of that sec toy. Let's see if that'll work. Boom to boom. Well, didn't exactly do what I wanted because he's still behind the half cover. Oh, well. We also have the ability, <laughs> yeah, but that'll kill the sectoid. So I'm not necessarily looking for that. If I move over here, we got to risk burning, burning cover. My cover could disappear next turn if we don't get this kill. What kind of numbers are we looking at here? Boris Becker's looking. We can always flashbang the guy. Chelsea, you don't have the greatest odds there. Chelsea, I think what I'm going to do, and we're going to see if we activate anything with this move, because it'll give me a little more range of movement if I can clear things this way. You're going to cover the backside if we force this alien to retreat. You didn't really have the greatest shot to begin with. Arthur Ashe, we can bring you. We're going to we're going to just have to go all out on this kill. We got Arthur Ashe and Margaret Thatcher both looking for a kill. So they're going to both get the shots. They're not they're going to be stinky rookie shots, but we got some backup and we got some flashbangs available if necessary. Let's see if 
we can throw flashbang protection from that position not quite so there's a backup option for us now there's no cover if he runs out to try and flank this position if we bring margaret thatcher up so we're going to play this game to get an extra shot up we will also move up boris becker for that backup flashbang should we not do as intended and what else? What else? What can we do with you, Trev? I think what we're going to do, we're just going to bring you up as, just get closer into the action and just study that weapon for anything that may appear next turn. Now let's try these couple of low level shots here. 41% for Arthur Ashe. And he did not score an ace on that one. No at all. Margaret Thatcher. You've been a stellar character for me in past personal Let's Plays. Let's see if you can come through. 47 is not bad for a rookie, and she continues her performance. That's a random character I've used in just my home playthroughs, and she is always the Iron Lady. She is always tough as nails. So I think with everybody else, not knowing where the other aliens are at this point, we'll just do some overwatch and a steady weapon for the Rocketeer, just in case his rockets are needed. And a steady weapon from Boris, or Overwatch from Boris Becker. Yeah, I can hear them, and they seem not super close. So I think what we'll do, just so we don't get pinched by going down the middle and have to worry about flanks, we'll kind of come around the corner, come around the back side of the tanks, clear this side. Got it covered. Got it covered. Clear this side of the map a little bit. Bring Arthur Ashe up for some support. That's affirmative. Fred, let's see if we can get you into the action up here. I'm on it, Commander. And then this team on this side will move just forward a little I'm bit on it, as we get repositioned over here with Boris Becker also. Verstetiger. He understands. He understands. And Trevor, I think we might as well get you a little closer to where the action will eventually be and steady your weapon up there. And everybody else will just overwatch. Yep, that cover with the flames burned away. So they're back in this building. So that... That's going to be our next priority, is to breach that building and see what we can find. Um, odds are they're in the building, although that sound cue could mean they're even behind the building. But we're going to play initially as if they're in the building and start moving forward for it. Double time. We'll rush you, Fred, just so you can keep up with everybody. And let's bring Arthur Ash up there into the fray also. Boris, let's hop you forward to the next full cover on this tank. And we're starting to get within range of that building. Trevor, we're just going to set you up front and center for this turn. And Chelsea, why don't you come up next to Trevor also. We'll overwatch you, steady Trevor's rocket launcher, and we'll do some more overwatches. I'm feeling like I probably could move the double move on the side just to get the rookies up a little farther for support, but you know, the moment I do that, <laughs> that's when it bites me in the behind. So we'll just catch up next turn with these rookies on the flank. Solid copy. There's Margaret Thatcher. Fred, we'll bring you up. There's two promotions already from our rookies. And we just got to get Arthur Ashe promoted as a rookie also. So it should be safe to double move up this way. And then next turn we'll have some better chances or better options moving into this building. Aye, aye, Chelsea, we'll bring you up this way to peek around that corner. Like weird. Did I see something weird on the icon or was that just out of the corner of my eye? Um, Boris Becker, let's just run you up to the door 
safe there. We'll overwatch here on the back side and the front side and steady that rocket one more time. It's kind of a hill. Oh, maybe they, oh, they aren't in the building. They're either right here in the corner of the building or they were indeed outside or have left the building. It seems like they're more on that side of the building now. Or we're talking about two different pods. Uh, what I'm going to do this move though is try and answer Roof has no cover, so that's not an option I want to explore. Moving to position. We'll look at a door breach there, and we'll look at bringing the rookies over here to the side, looking through these loading bays over here, and see what we can find. Move out. Looks like we'll be set up to possibly make a move next turn into the building and see what we're looking at inside the building. It's probably safe to run up here. I don't want to go any further to get view around the corner. Uh, I'll reveal a little bit here, but we didn't get any sound yes, cues sir. there, so we're going to do the double move. And Trev will probably hold you there for the rocket shot into the building. Ready, man, now. And bring Arthur, Arthur Ash up behind. Okay, overwatch time. Get ready for the breach next turn. Steady your weapon there. And we'll open up and explore into this. Let's see. Chelsea, let's have you do the honors. Let's open up. And looks like an empty warehouse, except for maybe the office. That's where we'll have to be careful. So let's get you up here, peek around the corner over here, Chelsea. Right. Tracking. Enemies in and we have found there were. So indeed, there might be two different pods. Glad that was just a blue move for you, Chelsea, because we will have to move you and not take a shot. The alien over there is in half cover, and we got some more moving along the back wall, so I got to worry about them coming around the back and flanking me that way. So with Fred, we can always move you forward. You have no grenades to destroy cover. We have a flashbang available here with Boris Becker. Hmm. Who else has? We got Margaret Thatcher on a follow-up. She can't really get to good cover to throw a grenade, though. Fred, we're going to bring you up here. We're going to bring Boris Becker, my infantryman, up behind you. Um, he can always potentially come over here for a flank if we miss, but I'm thinking more flashbang protection from Boris, potentially. We're going to bring this cover up here, half cover in case they come around this corner. I don't think, yeah, we just don't have an angle for that HE grenade. Yeah, not, not going to be worthwhile for us to try and force that. And then we also have Arthur Ashe. Badly in need of a promotion. We're going to dash you up this way. We're preparing right people for the next turn a little bit. A lot more dashes this, this particular mission than I'm used to taking. Um, but that's, it is what it is. Chelsea, I'm going to bring you up a little further to give you more maneuverability for me next turn since we've got to run you and hide anyway. You'll be closer up to potentially use that flashbang to help me out next turn. Fred, we're going to see if you can hit that rookie. No, we are not. I recall what happened to Venus. We're going to hunker you down and perhaps Boris Becker. You have a better shot, Boris, but I don't know if it's ideal. And I think maybe what we need to do... Actually, you are flanked because all he's got to do is move right up here and he can step out and flank you. So that was not a good place to move you in hindsight. So, Boris Becker, we're going to advance you. This is kind of a wasted turn. I, it's never fun. We'll overwatch. And we are going to hunker for Fred to see if we can save his skin 
And Trevor, we're going to try and get you up as quick as possible into the action. You're going to dash on up too. Not a textbook breach, as being as they were so far into the back. Okay, we got some mine merge going, coming back through the door. Looks like they're inside the building from what we can tell here. We got suppression on Fred. I'm glad we hunkered you down. And we got this little sectoid coming up. What's he gonna do? And suppression all over the place. But we do have options now, don't we? Chelsea, I think we're gonna peek you around the corner and see what you see. And we see a flank to Lalian at 80% shot almost, 79% shot. Come on, girl, I'm counting on you. Help us out, remove some suppression. Oh, not quite. Didn't kill the alien, but we did remove the suppression. So we got some maneuverability open up for us now. That means Fred, you're gonna have a wonderful little shot here. Another flank shot available to you. We're gonna take it because Arthur Ash is locked down by suppression. So I lost my chance to give him a promotion with this shot. Moving out. We're gonna give it to you, Fred, you got it. Let's see if you can deliver 78%. Chelsea hit on hers. You gonna hit on yours? Yeah, this time we delivered the kill. There we go. Fred, you're stepping up this, <laughs> this mission for us. Way to go. Now we got that last lone, well, we got the one outside, but the last lone sectoid that we have a hope of hitting. Um, Boris, do you have a maneuverability down here to get a shot we do here but it's a very flankable position <laughs> it would be the ability well let's see what what have we got we got Arthur Ashe able to move up and he's behind this so there's no flank or no point in moving to the corner quite yet but we are going to get you up to this door to give you some options, Arthur Ashe, because I don't think we can, we aren't going to get a worthwhile shot for you anyway. So let's not dash into unexplored territory, even though no sound cues are coming back from this corner. Yes, eh, we're going to do it. Break my cardinal rule. Let's have fun. Trev, you've just kind of been lagging, not in the action. You're not having any fun, are you? We're going to... <laughs> We're going to try moving you up a little bit, see okay. if we can get a better angle for you to join in on this. It's only a 25% shot because he's got full cover. I don't have anybody close enough, I don't think, to heave a grenade. But even if we heave the grenade to get rid of that cover, he's dead anyway. Um, we'll start bringing Margaret Thatcher in through the door. We got some half cover exposed. If he's damaged with red fog, although it, I think we saw in the other term, it doesn't guarantee that they won't hit you. It just lowers the odds. They can still hit those low odd shots, even with red fog. Uh, Chelsea, we just got to find the best place for old Boris Becker. And he's just not going to have a shot available unless I take him. Oh, this is full cover. What do you know? You may get a shot from here, Mr. Boris. Just a, not a very good one. So I think we may, we have the flashbang option. And I think we'll just do that just to ensure some safety on our troops here. Maybe I'm gun shy having lost someone last episode, but we'll, we'll, we'll use all our tools since it's a light mission to try and protect ourselves. Um, and since he is red fogged and flashbanged, Normally, I'd probably hunker down in this kind of cover. And I don't think this alien from that kind of distance can get all the way around. They would have to trade spots. I don't know if he could quite reach here to get a shot on my half cover, guys. But we're just going to take some low percentage shots. Let's see if we can't get lucky. Yeah! Way to do it, Trevor! We, we didn't need to have that heavy rifle. The light duty SMG with only one hit point on that sectoid worked after all. Anyone who's left, which I think 
is just Margaret Thatcher is going to go on Overwatch in case that other alien. Oh, what kind of shot does he have? Is he going to take a shot? He's going to suppress Chelsea. Now, let's see what options we might have going here. Do we have range with Arthur Ashe to get out there far enough? I don't think we quite have an angle. You're not going to be close enough to quite get vision that way. Uh, you could if, if we could double move, if you had run and gun kind of thing. So we got full cover sectoid. We're just going to run you over and force him to move next turn. He'll be in full cover, so I'm not too concerned about that. Now, if this was anything other than a light mission, you would not see me taking such moves into un unknown territory, undiscovered territory, but the couple sound cues we have make me think probably the third and final pod is over this way. Um, early month sectoids, that's why you're, you're seeing me take a few more risks with my movement than perhaps I normally would. Let's see, we can't, we're not gonna, get any kind of flank going, but let's see if we can get Margaret Thatcher up a little closer. Maybe we can blow away some cover and give somebody some shots. Final HG grenade as far as I know, so it'll be all Trevor if we need to blow away some cover. Um, I don't know if that wall is explodable or destroyable, but we're going to give it a whirl. And a boom! What we'll kind of, we blew away something. He's not standing there with much cover. Arthur, Ash, I took you out of it. We, I, I should have not moved you. I probably could have run you up here to get that shot. Instead, you do not get the shot. Who doesn't have a kill? I don't think Boris, hey, Boris, you haven't got a kill yet this mission. Let's get you some experience on this mission. See if you can hit the 72. Finish this sector off, all right. Now it leaves, or should leave one more pod out there. And I'm guessing out the side door is where we need to head. So we'll bring Boris Becker over this way because I also want to just clear too. that office once and for all to make sure they weren't down in that little corner down there also. And just in case they are, Chelsea, Position as we work to bring everybody else up, you'll support clearing that office next turn. And Trevor, I think what we are going to do, we'll move you forward to start positioning you behind, beside that door. Uh, we'll just reload you right here. Ready. And just way. start moving everybody up so we can start clearing that side yard where it looks, according to early sound cues, that's probably where the last of the aliens are. So we'll reload here Take while we have a chance. Time. And Chels, we might as well Ready just reload you there too. Okay, step one, clear the little office. Chelsea, do the door honors again. Peaky peaky, empty office, there we go. Nothing to worry about there. Um, I think I'll still bring you and Boris Becker down to these doors. So depending on what we open up here, you guys can spring out this way to maybe be able to get some flanks depending on where those aliens spawn. So let's position you guys in here on either side of the door. Boris, let's get back to you. You're going to come over here to the other side of the door, and Take those are your positions. Yours. Trevor, let's, and uh, while you're there, Boris, let's just reload you while we have a chance. Okay, the rest of you will come up to the door. Trevor, you'll go right there. How quickly can we get you up? to the killing zone, Mr. Arthur Ashe, because we want you to get some shots here. We want you to get a promotion. And now, oh my goodness, I wasn't paying attention. That whole corner got blown away or burned away. That move by Arthur Ashe was not a safe move. I could have exposed that other pod that I suspect is over here, unless they're moving around and they've already relocated. That was a sloppy move. I'm pay playing a little loose and free, thinking it's first month, just sectoids, not a big pod, 
light, but uh, Longmore has a way of making one pay for these kind of sloppy moves. I'm just glad it didn't happen on this mission. That would have been embarrassing. Let's reload you while we're at it since we have the time. And we'll just overwatch Chelsea, overwatch Fred, and Trevor, we're going to steady your weapon. Yep, I'm hearing the sound cues. They're over there where we kind of suspected. In fact, even opening this roll-up door may not activate them. We may have to move up to this, this position too, depending on where they are in that line of sound. That's the one thing about sound cues. They could be right here, or they could be way back at the back side of that sound cue. And I didn't pay attention to how loud their sectoid squabble was. Arthur Ash, we want to get you down a lot closer too, so we're ready to spring out, and hopefully way. you'll have a shot when we open that door. And I just realized we're playing with itchy tentacle, trigger finger, or whatever that thing is called. So when I open that door, I don't want to be standing in the open, perhaps, if I activate that pod. Um, we'll reload with Arthur Ash, and let's just get ready for the opening of the door, the grand opening next turn. We'll steady your rocket one more time. And action hopefully starts next turn, or else it'll be anticlimactic if he's not inside that roll-up door. We'll find out. Okay. Let's do the honors here, Trevor. And no, so they're farther back over here amongst the trucks. Amongst the trucks. Let's see. We'll keep you steadied there. Let's peek around this corner, see if they're in that first spot. On the move. ET in sight. Oh, Aging. three drones. And they were not where I expected them. We were just out of range. Hmm. I may just do, we may just get some rocket time, rocket practice from you, Trevor, as I get Fred out of the scatter range for these, these drones. I think we're going to see if we can do something with a rocket here. We have one tile scatter. This is where we're going to place it. And hopefully it doesn't scatter and do any harm to, to Chelsea in there. I don't know. Maybe before we do this, let's move Chelsea out of the scatter potential zone. And we will bring you over here for a shot on that trailing drone Moving in the out. back. We also have Boris Becker to help support you. Now let's go and play with the rocket and see what we can do here and we'll place it right there I don't think we have to worry about scatter not not a one tile scatter let's see if we can explode some drones boom, boom. that's what I say there we go take them out boom we'll have more chances for drone carcasses coming up or drone wrecks I guess they aren't exactly carcasses are they and Chelsea, since you were the first one out, we'll let you go first and see if we can't take out a drone. 53%. Nice hit. Oh, that armor on these drones sometimes is a challenge. Boris Becker, let's see what you can do for us. See if you can finish it off. 64%. Not great odds, so we're going to have to get some support from others, it looks like. Yeah, we did miss. We can't flashbang or do anything like that to these guys. There's no shot from that position. We want to keep... Well, actually, I got to get... I don't think it's a great shot because you may have... It shows that he has half cover back there. But that just may be the fact that he's a drone. Arthur Ash, this is your chance. Maybe your one and only chance to kill a drone before somebody else does. And we miss. Damn it. Arthur Ashe, a little bit of a choke. Okay. I don't think we have a shot out from this angle. So we'll overwatch. And all I got left are the useless. Okay, where are we going? 
not moving the way I expected. And look at that. Margaret Thatcher, as oh, I told you, cool. is money. She is money in all my missions. Way to come through. Nice little easy. And played it loose because of that fact. But the missions very soon, we're almost to the end of March. The missions very soon are going to start ramping up in difficulty. The easiness and the constant taking out of rookies will have just come to an end. So we're going to start seeing more promotions elsewhere. Margaret Thatcher got her promotion. Fred got his promotion. Unfortunately, Arthur Ashe did not. We just couldn't, just wasn't having the right move to get him in position to get the shots that we needed. But he at least gained some experience off of that. And we got our five sectoid corpses, one drone wreck because of the rocket instead of the three. And we got our 80. Is that enough? Touch, We're getting here. close, I think. What does that... Do we have enough for that final lift? I think I need 100 more. I have enough power to build it. And I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go pop into the gray market. See what I have to sell. Um, I, You know, all these things eventually you need uh, in the game. Weapon fragments, I... I really am not going to touch those. Alloys, I'm not going to touch those. Meld, just because we got off to a slow start, I'm not going to touch that. Illyrium's a little bit down the road. And I don't know, maybe it's... A, I don't know if my earlier playthroughs that I've done on this game on my own are any indication. But uh, I think I can afford selling a little early Illyrium. Um, we'll go... 15 and a couple sectoids to round it off and that'll be enough you tell for the my lift. Can't have them back so let's go back and build souvenirs. that final lift getting down protocol. to that steam vent. Once that steam vent is built, I'm going to be able to concentrate on a lot more because we got to get that officer training school, we got to get some labs built, we got to get a foundry built. There's all sorts of priorities once if I could just get down and unfortunately having my steam so far down it's taking time to get down there so I can access it. Once the access lift is built, we're going to have to dig out the steam. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it in seven days. My satellite uplink is going to happen no, very, very soon. As soon as that happens, I think what we're going to do is we'll take a look. We have one available to launch, and it won't give us full continent coverage for the first um, for the first month end where we get our new income but at least help our income a little just getting it launched just before um, we'll probably go with looks like South Africa is going to get us the most most money for that satellite so we'll start out with South Africa follow up with Egypt next month to then qualify for our continent bonus in the meantime what are we researching to refresh our memory? We only got four days left on alien weaponry. That's really good. It's finally up to fast, and we are falling behind on research. We need some more scientists. Thank we've got. Thank goodness we got the few that we got, and we don't really have anything, and we don't have the money to build. So let's. It means it's time to search. Whoop! What am I clicking? I just went to engineering. Time to search for some aliens here. Whoop! <laughs> Before. It was minutes away from completing my satellite uplink. What do you know? Satellite uplink okay, so let's go right back down and launch the satellite over South Africa. And we want it right down there, South Africa. That's going to bring it up to 160 a month. That's my big money maker for my continent. So let's let's get that income going. And then we get a reward of a scientist too, which is badly needed. Oh, I didn't realize. I wasn't even paying attention. We had a, a monthly request for a special request from South Africa. And uh, we got two engineers and by fu fulfilling their request. How convenient. I wasn't even paying attention to... I don't often on the satellites because it's so rare that they fall on actual countries that I need to launch a satellite on. So that worked out in our favor. We got some engineers out of it and a scientist. Let's continue on our search towards the end of the month. 
The new engineers arrived this morning. Commander. Why I keep clicking engineering instead of the globe, I don't know. Let's get up here to mission control. Nothing. The skies are quiet. Oh, there we go. We got low, a small scout. So we will scramble some interceptors. I believe we have some that have returned. In fact, we got a couple more, only two and three days off. So we're ready to have some fun. Uh, since it just looks like a regular scout and not a fighter, I'm going to go aggressive with just the avalanche missiles and hopefully they can do the job. We'll save on to a flipper if we can, unless these guys don't come through for me. Oh, but before we do, I see the one that I hired recently, Raven 5, doesn't have a name. So before we send him out, let's quick go back to the hangar and name this guy just to make sure we don't lose out on anything. Raven, you are Leathers Potter. We're going to send you out first with your brand new name. Contact detected. Get that UFO, Leathers. We'll go aggressive. First month, I tend to just always go aggressive. We need all the aim help we can get on our early aircraft against these Enemy alien spaceships. Hit, first hit, but we now got hit. Oh, we took it down, two shots. <laughs> so we got one more little mission before the end of the month. That will allow me, thank goodness, to get out. Yeah, that'll allow me to get out some rookies. So once again, this is the normal cutting off point for me before we head to a new mission. So you don't have to suffer through all my choose this item, choose this item, choose this item. I always found that to be the least exciting part of these videos. I keep my, my videos a little shorter and do that off camera and then we'll come back with the units I've chosen. Being as it's a downed spacecraft, I'll be able to go rookie heavy and make, and I will, thank goodness, because of this downed spacecraft, hit my goal of a minimum of 32 soldiers on that promotion track for the first month. So I'm excited about that. I hope you enjoyed this simple little light sloppily run, but we didn't pay for it mission. And we'll see you next time. Signing off, this is Zigzag Zog from Western Kentucky.